Hello, Kit fans, and welcome to another edition of the Talking Kit Podcast, episode nine. And it's your three, three favourite Kit fanatics here, as always. I am Double A down there. Bit of a change in the, uh, the yeah. old dynamic. It looks a bit weird, but I want to keep going the way I normally go. <laughs> I've been promoted. <laughs> <clears throat> top flight, top deck. Well, we'll see about that with your content. If you bring enough, you might be able to stay there full time. James, what's going on, mate? You alright? I'm very good. A little bit, a little bit tender. I broke my um, dry January duck uh, last night um, at the comedy awards, um, where my night did well and won an award. But yeah, let's we can you know. No, 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 let's talk. Let's, let's um, but yeah, just you know, just mingling, a few drinks, and uh, a late night. So, so tell hence us my current setting. Tell did us you have night. a beer? Pr- Sorry, that's all right. Tell, tell us did your you night. Have- I'm, I'm talking. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the night and what it's won, what award it's won. We want to know. So we won best open mic um, night in the Northwest. So quite a nice award. Um, up against some other really good nights as well. So, yeah, it was good. Uh, Jason Man- Manford won a few awards. He wasn't there. He didn't show up. So, uh, But we weren't expecting to win, so it was nice. And, uh, yeah, like I say, out at two in the morning, it's not. I'm, I'm in my thirties now. It's you know that's I'm on the decline now. I'm like a yeah. I'm like a you know like a footballer. They get like one last contract, don't they? In the thirties, really, like a big contract. And I, I feel like that those days are on me in drink yeah. drink terms. So yeah, as uh, but no, it's good. Our, it's good event. That's probably all our mums would say. It's not big and it's not clever. It's not. Yeah, no. yeah, but you know, just, I was in work today and I, I was just clock watching. I was just like, just get me home. Basically, so I saw that. We'll I was do looking... this, and this will energize me. It'll be all good. Obviously, I was looking on your Instagram story from last night, and it was like sort of because I, I was in work and I woke up, and then it was what was it six hours ago, six hours ago, six hours ago, and you could tell like, and then four, and then, and then it got to 43 minutes, and I went, Yeah, he's rough today, 100%. Yeah. He's definitely, oh, yeah, not feeling great. And also, when we came on the stream, you were laid down, so. It yeah, I got told to sit up. I got told to sit up. Although I was, I was on the stream on time, but let's not, let's not go there. What did you, you, um, Sean? Did you break your dry January only because you won the award, or were you, were you? Uh, well, that was the plan. But then I, I did have a drink prior to winning the award, so it was just a you know got together with a few people. Why not a few drinks? But yeah, celebrate. My also, mine lasted seven days. My dry January. Oh. Back on it now, though. I'm, I can't. Do I, like, that I like. I like the taste too much. <laughs> you got a beer on stream, aren't you? Uh, yeah, I always have one when I'm cooking, and I've just been cooking. So, did you cook every day, chef? So that's that's not a. Good <laughs> oh, yeah, you trying to tell us you got a problem? Is this what it is? It's a cry for help. It's, it's rife in the industry, but it gets you through the day. <laughs> Insight into the uh, hospitality industry, there for everyone. They're all drunk. Podca- podcast coming soon. Yeah, I had a, an Uber driver the other day who uh, worked in kitchens and he said that he was uh, constantly on drugs. And I thought, well, this is a perfect taxi to get in, isn't it, really? That <laughs> potential drug fiend is taking me uh, to places. But yeah. well, you're not dead, are you? So don't worry. Still here. Still here. Yeah. I wanted to say there was a picture on your Instagram as well um, of you grabbing the mic. I really want to know what you said. Did Did you snatch the mic and say something? Um, it <laughs> looks worse than it was. So obviously, we didn't prepare a speech. Um, and there's four of us who helped run the night, and uh, one of them was like, oh, we might not win it. I'll see if I'm back in time for the award. He had a gig. He was like, I'll gig somewhere else and I'll come back. So I took a picture, and then I was like, that's just a picture for Ryan, who's not here. And mm-hmm. that was the thing. But it does look like I'm like just dictating the microphone, which wasn't the case. Doing a Kanye. Hmm. That's, like, that's what you were doing. Yeah, well, I, 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 I shouted out and said the comedy industry doesn't care about black people. And... Uh, <laughs> Interesting. I was more, I was more thinking, I was more thinking about the Taylor Swift one, not the. Oh right, not the. Uh, yeah, yeah, is it yeah. Jim Barry, was that? <laughs> Taylor, no. Oh no, Mike Myers. That was Mike Myers. That was the yeah. Barack Obama, um, George W. Bush one. Yeah, hmm. I wasn't talking about that. I was steering clear of that one. Fair I'm enough. glad you. I'm glad you brought it up. I just went in feet first. Why not? <laughs> Why the devil not? Moving on, Sean. You're looking very nice today. Nice pun. Hey. Thank you. It's, uh, Thank you. it's another secret shirts box. Um, you're not going to slag it off this week, are you? Uh, I need them to return something, so I might do. But um, 
Nice's third kit from this season. Um, I like Blue being a Stockport fan. Um, Ineos, I think they're a chemical company. That's all I know. Oh, and on the back, we've got Honour and Fidelity, translated as Honour and Loyalty. Very nice. It's a French Foreign Legion saying. Oh, okay. Lovely stuff. What kit are you wearing, James? This is not a kit. This is just my morning, my night before um, (laughs) outfit. (laughs) You're lucky he's here, is probably what he's trying to tell you. Um, I've got the shirt I bought for someone for Christmas that I stole for myself. Chicharito on the back. I spoke about it last week. I thought it was Chicharito. 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 Yeah, he's Mexican, isn't he? I don't think it's Chicharito. Javi Hernandez. Just call him that, shall we? Yeah. That's his name. Um, speaking of uh, mystery shirt boxes, we've been meaning. I've been meaning to do it for the last, especially the last episode, which we forgot, and also on the full kit rankers. Kept forgetting. Uh, so we have joined up with a mystery shirt box. Um, for all you people here that are watching, uh, if you would like to receive 10 percent off a um, mystery shirt from this company, which is Shirt Loot Box, um, you can go on their website and then obviously look to purchase one of their shirts or shirt boxes. And if you put in Talking Kit in the uh, discount code, you will get ten percent off. I know people have been using our code already, um, so. Yeah, why not get involved? If you like, say, if you're into your mystery shirts, Sean loves them, as you can tell. Not always. If you uh, was watching Full Kit Rankers the first episode, it went a bit of a bit of a rant. Luckily, it's not that company, so you know that's great stuff. Our code will probably still work. So yeah, shirt loot box. I think they're at shirt loot box on uh, Instagram and Twitter. Yeah, when you get to the checkout, put in talking kit, and you will receive. 10% off so there you go very nice of us to be joining forces with them and offering all the talking kit fans 10% off a mystery box so yeah guys this week's episode or this this episode episode 9 James you came up with this uh, this little idea yeah for today why don't you tell everyone what we are talking about on talking uh, kit I think this is going to be very on brand for us certainly how I imagine uh how we discuss kits and stuff uh, as a threesome and it sponsors of shirts and more specifically it's sort of fast food and sort of that type of thing so we can think Fulham in the noughties amongst other things uh, amongst other clubs really who have had uh, a food as a, as a sponsor on the shirt so yeah that's the theme of today's show very much so so I've been doing some digging all day long uh, I've, I've been off today so I've been doing a lot of Digging around to try and find various kits that have food in them. There is a lot. Uh, some good ones, some not so good ones, some weird ones, and some you probably won't be expecting to see. Um, I'll be leaving them till the very last for you. So the first one I could find, I thought, let's go right back. Who's the first one to ever have a shirt sponsor? Um, I'll give you some clues. If you see if you can guess it, I review. you. So it's a well. I don't think it's the. I don't know if it's the very first, but this is the earliest I could find. So it's from 1979. It's that old. The picture is black and white. Um, they play in black and white, and they are from the UK. You're probably thinking one team. It's not them. I'll say. I'll give uh, yeah, you I was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I thought it'd be a red herring. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not Newcastle then. It's not, not Newcastle. Scou- not County. No. Uh, they've got, I think, is he a celebrity fan? I think Grimsby. You know what, James? You're absolutely <clears throat> my boy. So from 1979, they Findus. wore Findus. Look at the, the way it goes down, the sponsor. Oh, no. That would have been in bright red, I'd imagine. On it? the vertical, yeah. That uh, reminds Grim- me of the Ajax kit with the AB and Amro. It, yeah, it does. You're right. You're very, you're very right there. Yeah. Uh, I never. Newly had Findus. There's also uh, another picture of a shirt with um, a weird. It's got like the Findus logo, but it's just the F. And it, again, it's near where the Adidas is. It looks very weird. Uh, but this is the first one I could find. So 1979, this, this shirt was from. Obviously, uh, they've had Young as, Youngs as well. Yeah. Which was um, which is fish, isn't it? But Findus, if you if you're obviously from the UK, Findus 
did the crispy pancakes, which I remember having as a kid all the time for tea with chips. Chips, Finless crispy pancakes and some peas or something. They were, I love like, the minced beef ones, but nice. Not so much the cheese. Not a fan of them ones. Cheese, is it cheese and ham or something? Daft like that. Yeah, it's I like a I've poor, man, I've I've ever poor man's chicken Kiev, isn't it? It's like... No. Chicken Kiev. Is. Chicken like Kiev is like... disgusting. <clears throat> what? Chicken Kiev is disgusting. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm more of a fan of that than a Findus crispy pancake. You, you've never tried one, so how the fuck do you know? You've yeah, never had them. Yeah, but they look wrong. They look wrong. Well, I'll send, I'll send, I'll send you. Wrong. I'll send you some off Amazon, James. You'll, they're, they're nice. Yeah, you don't need Amazon to. Is. You don't need to. No, stick, stick to the minced beef ones. The minced beef ones are lovely. Trust me, you'll you'll love it. I Why wonder not? if the Grimsby players got like, you know, kickbacks from them. Do we know who that is? Oh, that player? I have not got an idea. Couldn't tell you. Not got a clue. But he looks happy in his fin this shirt they must have you think when you get sponsored they must have they must get something because i'm sure i've ever like my, when united was sponsored by sharp they'd get tvs and stuff like that from sharp so they must be inundated with fist fingers crispy pancakes must have been yeah uh, what else did they do just the crispy pancakes is that it did they do other stuff <laughs> that's all i remember them for they would have done loads of stuff fingers they would have done loads let's have a look I bet they did. I bet they did fish originally because that's what the, that's what the nickname is, isn't it? The, like your town full of fishes. Yeah, you just yeah. That's why they're sponsored by Youngs and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do sort of Pollock fish sticks, cod loins. Mm. I didn't know cod. I didn't know cod had loins. They did lasagnas. Uh, they done they done loads of stuff. Frozen yeah, foods. Like frozen food, Jeff. Fish fingers and all that kind of stuff. But it's all about the crispy pancakes, mate, I'm telling you. So that's the first one, because like I say, it's black and white. So that tells you everything you, you sort of need to know. Um, moving on to the next team. The one I remember most from being food, sort of in the 90s especially, is um, a bit of Leicester. This is actually from, I think, 2001, <coughs> 2002. But yeah, Leicester City being sponsored by Walkers. Roberto Mancini. Yeah. Yeah, man, he there. Played four games for him, didn't he? Back in there, that, he was on loan. Was it that season, two thousand and two? I'm going to go with. Um, so is that yeah. color? Did they name the stadium after Walkers as well at one point, or did yeah, they sponsor so the stadium? Yeah, so Walkers is obviously based in Leicester, which is obviously where the association comes from. Uh, when they moved from Filbert Street to the new stadium, uh, yeah, they did name it the Walkers Stadium for for quite a while. Yeah. That's interesting, just thinking about that, because you mentioned Sharp before at United, so you would have had Lee Sharp with Sharp, maybe, and you would have had Ian Walker with Walkers. I wonder if there's any others like that. Um, was, did Grimsby have a player called Findus? Crap. <laughs> Jimmy Pancake? Something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> um, Pollock, good... maybe, I don't know. Loin, I don't know. But... Uh, Mark Fish, could have played for Yeah. Him. That would have been good. Sean's desperate to think one. Sean now. is true. I can see <laughs> yeah. him like, working, trying to work it through. I look disinterested. Like I look uninterested, but I'm focused on trying to think That's... of a good joke, but it's not coming. <laughs> well, Gary, Gary Lineker did a bit with him, didn't he? He was connected to Leicester and Walkers. He still is, isn't he, for Walkers? Yeah, he'd... Salton Lineker. Yeah. yeah, played for Leicester, obviously. Um... And is, is Walkers Lays abroad? Is that official or is that just what people say? I think, yeah, it is, isn't it? I think it is. I think, yeah, I think it is. <clears throat> it's like Walls is... Uh, what's Walls? Walls is something different abroad, isn't it? But we're just <laughs> on a tangent here, aren't we? <laughs> um, Opal, Opal, Opal is Vauxhall, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The thing about Lays, when you go away, you can't get enough of them. And you just think to yourself, they are just Walker's Crisp. Why do they taste so much better abroad? Is it the sun? I, I think it's the, the flavours are better, aren't they? Jambon. Bit of jambon. Yeah, or, or oregano. Crunch. I love an oregano crisp. Papri- paprika. Great. Mm. Sell on the agri. Then then uh, Spanish people aren't having cheese and onion, are they? Come on, it's not. They have like and... in it like in it like four cheese over there or something mad like that. They don't it's not just cheese they're, and onion. Yeah, they'll have something proper. But yeah. l- l- in Mancini there, I mean back in the day, would that blue have been salt and vinegar or would it have been cheese and onion? Because it changed, didn't it? It did. Cheese I think no. I think yeah. I think by then it would have been. <coughs> I think when cheese onion was green for Walkers, it was 
early 90s, I think. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it was that late. It changed. But yeah, that's a... That's, Pringles that's a... is pink. Pringles is pink, isn't it? Salt and vinegar. Is it? I thought it was prawn cocktail. No. Oh, is that cheese and onion? I know sour cream, weird. sour cream and onion is, is green, isn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna have to check this out now. Um, it's been a while since I've had Pringles, to be honest. Yeah, I don't have it. No, it's like a light, it's like a light blue. It's a light blue. So you're talking right. shit again. Talking shit again. I'm sure that'd be prawn cocktail. That's what it normally is. Not you're not having it, right? Okay. That collar is massive as well. You mentioned that, Sean. It's huge, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it's prawn oh, cocktail. It's prawn cocktail. Where have I got yeah. it from then? <laughs> I don't have a clue. So you think of walkers, obviously you think of um, just them in the night, is it? M- Muzzy, is it? Robbie Savage? <clears throat> I was, uh, their penalty area always seemed to be bogged down and stuff, didn't it? Always seemed to it be... horrible. It was a horrible ground. Filbert, Filbert Street was horrible. I always remember Filbert Street for being, do you remember when David Beckham shaved his hair off and he scored that goal and the, the uh, gigs came over and scrubbed his hair and it was because it made the papers. Yeah, that he had his hair cut. I always remember it. Big baggy shirts. And I'm sure like Filbert Street, you could watch. They had the the block of flats and everyone used to watch the game because it wasn't it wasn't a very big ground. Old Casey Filbert Keller, Street. of course, as well. I've got a soft spot for Casey Keller. Yeah, Perry's um, haven't. They always had the net. They had the net in, which was dead thin at the back. Like, not yeah, the big it's like it's slo- it, rather than being square and boxed, it was like triangular, mm. wasn't it? Reminds like, me of the Dell Sunday League. The Dell, yeah, that was another horrible ground that was similar to that. <clears throat> so there we go, yeah, Leicester with Walkers, very, very famous sponsorship. Um, not the same now. Who, who are they with now? I can't remember who they're with now. I went with King Power for a bit, <clears throat> didn't they? Yeah, and, and oh, I can't remember who, who they're even with now. That's how no, bad it is. Still- Next on the list, probably one I, I'd say this is probably one of James's favorites. This one, um, there he is. Oh, yeah. This so whole Fulham, uh, in the Premier League was it all one or two? And he yeah, went so. with um, Pizza Hut. I mean, it looked great, it looks great on a shirt, doesn't it? The Pizza Hut, um, yeah, it, it's, it oddly works, especially on the white kit as well. The home kit, they, they revamped the badge as well, didn't they? That season, I remember it was in the newspaper. A yeah, fan got the, the crest on his back, like full size. And then <laughs> I remember that. FFC. Um, yeah. it used to be Demon, didn't it? Demon Computers or something. It did. It did. And he had Mike, Mike Taylor in goal. Mike Taylor as well, yeah. Yeah. The reason why I've put this shirt with Edwin Van Der Sar, because for me, it still goes down as one of the worst, the weirdest transfers ever. Because yeah. he's gone from Juventus. Juventus to Fulham. To Fulham. And you think... Fergie, what are you doing? Like, why? Signing. This is when obviously United were going through their their sort of goalkeeper woes. Yeah, the rotating thinking, door of goalkeepers. Yeah, did they buy oh, yeah. was it something like seven point five mil or something like that? I'm sure it was somewhere yeah, around six. I remember being six million. Was it? Ah, I remember. Yeah. I remember Aaron being like, "It's a really good signing for Fulham. That's a really good signing." And I guess it worked out for Edwin in the end because he did put himself in the shop window, didn't he, for English football? Mm. <laughs> but he didn't need to. He'd been from Ajax. No, no, that's, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Is, like, is it because is it because they got Buffon? Is that why? Yeah, I believe it been, is. Yeah, I believe it is. But even Fergie, Fergie said since, you know, like I should have. Why didn't I get him? Should have replaced Schmeichel, which is you know, um, Bob. How so old was Van der Sar then? Because we had him sort of his mid thirties. He played till he was forty. Did he? So he, so he come to us in what 2005, I believe. So is he quite young? Well, not young, but for a goalkeeper, quite relatively young for at Fulham. I've right. cooked afternoon tea for Edwin Van der Sar. Have oh, you? Of course you have. Did he order the scallops? What did he have? <laughs> he had did sponge, he have pizza? sponge, and cream, cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> cucumber made sandwiches him, made him sound a bit Sean Connery, but we'll take it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I want like a chicken, chicken, not stirred. Um, yeah, he would have been thirty-one there uh, when he went. When he went to uh, about Fulham. thirty, thirty-one when he went to Fulham, um, two thousand and one. Uh, I did also get you this as well. There you go. Louis. Bit of Louis looks a bit better on that. Like you say, it does look better on that shirt, doesn't it? Um, I remember at the time it was a big thing. Like, oh my god, the sponsor my pizza. It's going to look ridiculous, but now I look back on it, it, it works. I, it I looks. Don't... Good. It looks so good. Yeah. 
That's but when Tahar was tearing it up, wasn't it? And uh, well, that that shirt and him in it reminds me of what um, the first game in the Premier League. It was against us, wasn't it? Rude Van Nistelrooy. You went, did he get a brace, Sahar? You went two. You went two nil down, didn't you? Yeah, it was three all, wasn't it? Three all. It was three two to you. It was three two to you. Is it? They ended up three yeah. two. I thought it was three. Yeah. Sure oh, yeah. it was. You I was at your brace. house watching it. I was at your house watching it in Drogheda. No, in Leeds. Who's your here. house? Who's your house? Aaron. At your house. <laughs> Sorry, your mum's house in Lebanon. I don't know. You can say mine. I'll just say these two of us here. It's hard to say. You yeah, know. Right. Hey, it, it weren't paying the bills. Yeah. <laughs> um, but again, at James, I'm going to bring it up. Bartes letting Frenchman score against him. Yeah, it's it's definitely you've you've there's definitely weight behind the conspiracy, although yeah, I'm not fully you, convinced. But there's just a lot of French that, players in the league at that time. I think. No, come on, you didn't all have to score against him. And enough did. Enough did. But I remember watching that game because there was a bit of a buzz around Saha back then, wasn't he? And obviously he ended up coming to United anyway, but he was great in that. He was great in that season, I think, and proved what, 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 what a good striker he was. I remember what Saha, on his debut for United, I think he scored a penalty and a free kick and he took the penalty with his right foot and the free kick with his left foot. And I was like, this guy is amazing. <laughs> and he, 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 what let him down was his injuries because... yeah. He'd, he'd he'd hit the ground running with goals at like the start of the season. He'd get injuries and that would he, yeah. He'd play maybe like 15, 16 games and that's all you got out of him. But he was a great yeah. signing for United. He was a great signing. Didn't like I loved him as the number eight for Fulham. Didn't like him as the number nine for United. That always irked me for some strange reason, even though he was a sort of quintessential number nine anyway, definitely. But it's a, it was a shame that it didn't work out for United because he could have gone on and been Oh, I think so. And like he was in some good teams as well. He was in there with like Van Nistelrooy, and I think he was still there with Rooney and stuff. Rooney, Van Nistelrooy, AIG, in it. That's when I remember him. Yeah, didn't have to. Last season, didn't have the braids then. Um, Yeah, he was. He was a really good. To be fair, I mean, we could look up his accolades. I'm sure he won enough, more than most. But there was always it could have been more. Like he could have probably played more for France and stuff. But yeah, definitely. And he obviously went to Everton and stuff like that, didn't he? And Spurs as well, which I always forget. Yeah, that was a weird one. He went to Spurs. But no, he's where did he player. come from? Where did he come from? Mets or somewhere like that? Did, wasn't he affiliated with Newcastle before Fulham? Yeah, he, 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 oh, he yeah, went he was, yeah. on loan, didn't he? From Mets to Newcastle on loan, I think. And then from Mets to um, to Fulham. Well, let me just double check his uh, yeah. stats. I prefer that badge. That, a lot of crest, to, a lot to of the original crest. one. Yeah, yeah, a lot of crests orig- go down, don't they? But I prefer that one. The original yeah. one, it just I don't think it was very fitting for the Premier League. It was like it, was, it does strike as like a lower league badge. Mm. It's like a pub crest, isn't it? The old one, like a coat of arms, like yeah, yeah, yeah very, very um, old fashioned sort of. But that's very sort of naughty, isn't it? The, that new one, very like United when he dropped the football club, kind of making mm. it more sort of appeal to overseas markets and stuff like that because you know I think I don't think you know Americans or, or the Asian market really get those sort of old school looking badges Mo- most teams now have got rid of them aren't they? not many have, have those sort of old crests mm. but yeah so yeah bit of Fulham with um, Pizza Hut you should bring it back it works it works really well um, another one from the sort of early noughties a great one again I think works really well on the shirt was this one and that was Wolves with Doritos. Yeah, I forgot about this one until you pulled mm. it up the other day. Yeah, um, well, it's better with the orange, doesn't it? Because that's like the cheese flavour. Yeah, the cheese fingers, yeah. Tangy cheese or nacho cheese if you, you yeah. live in America. Um, Admiral as well. Shout out Admiral. I don't think we've seen that on Odd Kit before. Totally forgot that they were sponsored by Admiral. That's uh, a massive throwback. So this was obviously the season. The kit. I think they had it in the championship when they... Were promoted, but this is obviously from the the old three oh four season. Um, I'm just going to look up as well. Sorry to cut you off, Aaron. I'm sure Paulin's won number nine. Yeah. Oh, that was that. That was a Borough on it. He oh, was nine. it? Might have been. Yeah, a horrible number to have. Yeah, I know he won um, nine at Borough. But yeah, four. I think this was this the season where the, obviously Kenny Miller when he when he beat United. At, um, yeah. Molyneux. They scored he, early on, and I remember actually because I think. I was watching it at home and there's people doing something in the house, like some building work. And Kenny Miller scored earlier and the, the, the guy was like, oh, you'll get one back. There's plenty of time left. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And the game just went on and on and on. I think it was just 1-0 in the end, wasn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, the Beatles one now. Um, but I, as it proves, it's tr- it, United find it tough there anyway. No different. So even even back then, really. So that badge yeah, is quite modern as well, just without anything on it other than just the. They've, they've had that the for years. Yeah, it, it's it's probably one of my favourite badges that are in football. I think it's just simple, but it tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? It's obviously Wolves. Mm. Um, great badge. And yeah, Doritos looks good. Again, you wouldn't really have that now, would you? Obviously, Because that's obviously Walkers. Doritos are Walkers now, aren't they? So obviously you wouldn't have... It's weird that can, I just cut some... in? can I just cut in for a second? Please do. Dogs, dogs just come in. You were saying, Aaron, about Doritos and Walkers being the same, but like... Yeah. Could you have like the sub subsidiaries of a yeah, of a like company? walkers? Do walkers do squares? <laughs> You've been caught. You have to have like a who has a kit that's like um like a square kit that could you know, Croatia, check. Croatia. Yeah, I don't think they would have it. Obviously, have maybe on the training kit. You could have it on the training kit. You never know. Yeah. French fat PSG French fries could have them. Maybe oh, they were horrible, Chris. Yeah, not great. But no, Doritos, it works on that kit, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it looks really good. Lasted for a couple of seasons, didn't it? They didn't last they, that long in the Premier League, though. Yeah, they could have had Dorita with Doritos on it, but again, that's not quite Walker just, with Walkers. No, you just copy it. It's just a beer that you like, is that, is that why you're saying it? No, isn't Dorita... Was, did he play at Middlesbrough? I don't know. I thought Dorita was a beer. Dorita. Sorry, I'm looking it up on my phone. If I'm looking away from the camera. Football. Am I making it up? I'm not sure. Dorita. Dorita played at Fulham. Deriva. Okay, maybe I'm misremembering it. Again, I'm just thinking of sponsors. You could have it on the front and right. the back if you're the name match. That's all. Moving on, a lot of them were in the night. A few of them were in the night as weren't they? A lot of the food ones seem to uh, happen a lot. The next yeah, one. Yeah, the night is the food is like the current bet bet sites in it. Is every club's got like a bet site, aren't they? From somewhere in the, in the globe. Pretty much. So it's all food in the nighties. So the next one, Ooh, bit of uh, Chef Wednesday, Chopper Chops. So the, 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 yeah, the picture we put in the, the chat is different, obviously, the one we're using here. And obviously, yeah, it is Efren and Koku. I didn't even, I couldn't even, didn't even know we played for him, to be honest. Honestly, is that Diodora as well? Yeah, a bit of Diodora as the kit supplier. Chupa Chups, obviously, do the uh, lollies and, and sort of confectionery. Um, I believe, I believe that it's another company. It's another company that might be different around the world. Um, might be called something different around the world, obviously. In the UK, Tupa, it was Chupa Chups. Chupa means suck, doesn't it? Oh, does it? Does yeah. it? <laughs> In what language? Chupa. Spanish, I think. I've been using that a lot. <laughs> Will you? Why? With, what, with, with your extracurricular activities. <laughs> Have you seen that TikTok? You've gone stuck in like a sweet... That one, that TikTok. <laughs> no? No. Oh, right, um, okay. I think your algorithm is different to mine on there, mate. <laughs> My, yeah. <laughs> We're looking at different stuff on that, uh, the old TikTok. So, chup, Chupa means suck, so it's, it's going to be sucker suck, I, I, really, that translates. I believe Chupa is suck or to suck, yeah. Yeah, it just, oh, it means sucks, Chupa in Spanish. Oh, okay. There you go. Bit of nice, knowledge for nice you. Bit of knowledge, yeah. The, the, well, the yellow, because obviously the Doritos worked quite well when it was the orange and then the orange Doritos. This works well, even though it's not on brand with Sheffield Wednesday's colours. It just pops out on the shirt, but it's quite, it's quite a nice one. It's weird that specifically a lolly would sponsor you, but is that to get kids on board, or is it just because they offered the most money? Why are Chopper Chop trying to get like essentially grown men, which is the bulk of sort of football fans, to buy into that? It just seems a bit weird. But uh, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think. A lot of them go into it to specify, like you know, to aim at the men that support the team. I guess I, thought, I just think they offered the most money in it, and it's a brand. But they weren't even in the Premier League, were they? So it's not like, yeah, maybe TV rights, but exposure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and we're talking about it, but yeah, it just I don't know what. I'd be interesting to see what uh, the company's thought process was behind that. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, uh, James. It does look good on the shirt. Like I say, it's yellow and red against the sort of blue and white. But it does stand out, um, makes as, it sort as, of the shirt. But as far as Sheffield Wednesday kits go, as well, <clears throat> that's poor in it. You don't, you won't see <laughs> Benito, Benito Carboni wearing that. <laughs> Would you it's, not? It's a, it's a bad kit. The it's Adora not the best. Sh- I do like the long sleeve, though. I, I'm a fan of the long sleeve, but yeah, it's not the best, is it? I'm sure not Sheffield Wednesday fans would agree with that. 
Long sleeves are great, aren't they? But yeah, it, 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 it screams lower league, doesn't it? it screams championship, mm. league one. Screams league one, no, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, you're thinking of the great Sheffield Wednesday, Wednesday shirts. Obviously, it's the Sanderson Premier League era, isn't it? Um, mm. That they had back when they were sort of in the big leagues. But yeah, this screams lower league to me. Um, do like the black shorts, though, with it. I think mm. it, you know, it does look good. Definitely. Um, Effin and Koku, yeah, he was there for a couple of seasons, I believe. But I again missed me by that. Didn't didn't know he even he even played for him. He was three, know, and, three and three quarter that. stars on Premier Manager ninety eight, I think. I know that because I've just downloaded Chat Manager and got it working. Oh two oh one oh two, and I've started with Chef Wednesday, and he's my striker. Kevin Pressman's in goal. Nice. Well, yeah, Kevin 30, Pressman. 30, Thirty-three years old. In all one or two, good to know. Nicola yeah. Bertie as well, who started with me. Uh, yeah, Sheffield Wednesday, Chupa Chups or Sucker Sucks, whatever it, it, it means. I'm not too <laughs> sure. Um, fast forwarding now to 2014, 2015, quite a recent uh, season. And it was Derby and Just Eat. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jesse Lingard on loan. Uh, Will, Will Hughes, Hughes in the background. Is that Darren yeah. Bent as well? Next yeah. Season. It is, yeah, yeah. Just eat, you know. Before, long before Snoop Dogg was doing his songs for Just Eat, it was on Derby County's shirts. And this must have just been before they had the uh, the app because it's got obviously Just Eat dot mm. oh, yeah. Should we get a takeaway? <laughs> I'll I'll just uh, turn the computer on. Yeah, get the laptop on. The broadband on. You on dial up? It won't be dial up in two thousand fourteen, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So Just Eat on the Derby kit. Again, it po- it's red against white, so it's going to stand out, isn't it? Because they don't have, have red anywhere else on the kit. Uh, what are you thinking? I'm on this one, Sean. Who are they sponsored by? What's the side? What did it say on the side? Oh, just Umbro. Umbro, yeah. It's quite a boring kit, isn't it? I think Just Eat makes it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a standard white shirt, isn't it? Really? I, like the, I like the collar on it, but yeah, it is, it is very plain. Um, probably does need that loud sponsor on it just to give it something but um mm. it's not it's again it, it works doesn't it it doesn't look horrible it doesn't look like a really horrible sponsor that ruins the shirt so it works it does it does we've been there uh james down we have, way. um igalo up front for manchester united during his loan spell yes <laughs> and scored two didn't he in that game I think he scored a brace and then it was um rooney was playing for derby and yeah. there was a free kick at the end of the game and the fans were singing if Rooney scores, we're on the pitch, and he missed Skyded. by the smallest of margins. Yeah. And I was thinking, would we have all actually ran onto the pitch if he'd have scored it? Well, we wouldn't because he was near the back, so we wouldn't have. That's I wasn't. Gonna, a, I wasn't gonna. What is a Galo doing now? He was in China. Is he in Saudi Arabia now? Oh, I, I couldn't tell you. Didn't, he didn't, didn't want to make... go back to China, did he? Because of the COVID thing. I mm. think he was flirting with the idea of coming back to the Premier League, but missed out in the on the China, uh, Nigeria squad, didn't he, for Afcon and stuff. I quite liked him. You know, I know he's not like this thirty-plus goals a season guy, but he I did hate a job. It. I hate he did it. A job. I liked he, him. He's a, he's a cup player, wasn't he? It's scre- player. It just screamed like present Manchester United and just having no plan for anything. Panic and, by. Yeah. Oh God! It just, just, yeah, they're supposed yeah. to have the same agent as Ollie, and that's why they were like, "Hmm, this yeah, this has gone through." Well, I could talk about the mess that is Manchester United for hours and hours. I'm not, we're not here for that. We're here for kits. Speaking of, obviously, an unlawful Manchester United player for uh, Derby County, young Jesse Lingard. Uh, yeah, just eat Derby County from 2014-2015. Uh, uh, the next one on the list. This was a good one. So this is Hetafe. Soldado. Is that Soldado? Soldado. Mm. Yeah, Soldado for Hetafe back in 2008, this shirt. Um Burger King, yeah. It's, um, again, you don't really really see the big sort of fast food chain sponsoring sponsoring shirts. But you did in this instance. Uh, I could say sponsoring Hetafe. Uh, is that, that's Joma as well. Joma, yeah. On that shirt. I mean, the sponsor makes it, doesn't it? I'm not a f- big fan of that shirt, really. No, it's, that pattern's very old school, isn't it? That sort of that f- sprayed red, white and blue. Yeah. Sort Not of on really. the collarbone, but no, yeah, it definitely makes it. I've never seen McDonald's anywhere apart from like 
when they have like they, drives they about to, summer football and stuff. Yeah, they tend to sponsor events rather than teams, don't they? Yeah, like the World Cup and stuff like that and the Olympics and all that. The best thing about this shirt, should I tell you, what you could do if you scored a goal and you thought, you oh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, ah, well, I'm, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pop it over my head. If you were to do that, you'd get this. Whee! No, <laughs> no way. way. <laughs> Is that real? It looks legit, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it's got... Hairy, that's though, madness. The Burger King. Look, at this. He's got mm. burger nipples. Never mind Burger King. Um, yeah, you get the Burger King face on the inside of the shirt. Well, I, that's gone up in my estimations, that, as mad yeah. as that is. That's prime marketing. Yeah. yeah. Ledley King could wear that and he'd have King on front and the back. Oh, there you go. Just to carry on that theme. But uh, could be I like that. Prince Bolton. Patrick Burger. Patrick Burger. Patrick Burger, yeah. <laughs> That'd be worth the yellow card, wouldn't it? Just to do that as a bit of a laugh. Yeah, I think so. I bet, I bet they're saying, look, if you do that, you get like a bonus. <laughs> Free whoppers for life. You get Why something not? as a kickback. Why not? But yeah, that, so that's the Hatafi shirt. And then, you know, sticking with Burger King, they obviously sponsored uh, Stevenage. And the thing about this was it made it made sort of waves in sort of the football community because it was sort of released on uh, on FIFA. And obviously the kit, the kit was then available to buy on Ultimate Team. And it kind of did the rounds and like people were, you know, buying that shirt and then put it on nice their squads. So there was like pictures going up of FIFA that year of just like the maddest squads like Ronaldo, Neymar, Neymar Messi, Messi and Pape all what wearing. What formation is he playing? Oh that I don't know. Four two four? Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe the four two 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 like uh, like Ranyuk. You yeah, never know. Okay. So yeah Stevenage as well as Hatafe. Uh, having that Stevenage King... kit to Hatafe. Sorry, Aaron. No, it's all right. It's okay. Uh, yeah, both um, having Burger King. Don't think they sponsor Stevenage anymore. I think that's uh, sort of run out now. That sponsorship. Making some waves, Stevenage, in uh, in the old FIFA. Uh, moving on next. So we're going north of the border now. We're leaving England. Going north of the border. And we're going to go and see Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. Yeah, Subway. And they like to eat fresh. With a bit of Subway. So this is their shirt from 1516. Uh, he's been in the gym, hasn't he? And I don't know if, what, what player that is, but you can tell he's been uh, He's not been eating fresh at Subway, has he? He's been, uh, he's been having health. the footlongs if he has. That's well, for sure. Well. Um, I, I like that shirt. Like he'd, he'd have it toasted and um, chipotle sauce, I'm going to say. Is that what you think? I'm what, just what's, guessing. What's, I'm just guessing. What's, what's 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 I have no idea. Is, uh, you think he has olives? Based, yeah, it's not based on anything. Um, lettuce, tomato. He's getting all his greens in there for sure. Yeah, maybe, maybe some olives and uh, a, a rainbow cookie. Why not? The, the sweet corn. Would you get sweet corn on it? I personally wouldn't. I think he would for sure. Oh, I think he'd, he'd be up for getting all his greens on there. So yeah, that's shirt sure, for fifteen sixteen. <laughs> Inverness, Caledonian Thistle. Oh, I was I was about to ask you what your favourite subway is, but I think you just told us. But the thing yeah. is, like they missed. Well, I I can only speculate, but if it was. If I was in charge of their programs every week for match days, you'd get a player in. And you'd be like, "What is your subway?" And like people would buy the programs to be like, "Oh, next week it's you know the left back I really like." Oh, I, wonder I, to... I wonder if you'd have it, you know, a meatball marinara or whatever, you know. Worst one. That's that's how marketing works. Yeah. Oh, um, can't wait to. I'm going to buy a program so I can find out what subway the left back has. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Goalkeeper's definitely getting a foot long. Oh, he only has a six inch. Fuck. I'm not a favourite <laughs> player anymore. Tuna melt. Fuck that. No, no, you get out of town. <laughs> get him sold. Tuna melt. What's your go to subway, Sean? Um, I'm quite boring. I've not been to subway for about nine or ten years, but it was always hearty Italian, ham, cheese, um, and all the salad. Toasted? Oh, yeah, a bit toasted, yeah. And a drink. I got, I got hearty Italian. There's one right near me, so I do. Frequent it from time to time. Always yeah, hearty Italian. Good. Always cheese and melted. Nah, Italian herbs and cheese. You won't go. You won't look back. Absolutely amazing. There's amazing. better food out there. The, well, yeah. There was a sub. There's a subway where I used to live, where we used to live, uh, James. Oh yeah. Um, and they're like franchises, aren't they? So they're owned by. They're not owned by one uh, company. Owned by different people. And I remember once I used to like. I used to get free sauces on my subway. 
And I remember I was asking once, and he came out and started complaining. Oh, no, you can only have two. And that's not... They say the way you like it. That's not the way I like it. I'm having three. He's arguing a toss over adding the first. I used to have uh, honey mustard, sweet onion, southwest. This guy. Southwest, this guy. Southwest, oh, yeah, honey mustard, and he used to be um, moaning, moaning, kicking off about what, what in three sauces on me, King Subway. I don't know who that player is, but he's definitely getting as many sauces as he wants in there going in there. Well, like that. Yeah. well <clears throat> probably not. If you've got games like that, mate, you're not having sauce on your, on your Subway. I don't think. I'm probably not even having Subway. <laughs> I like that. I like that kit though. It's all right, isn't it? Area, area, yeah. yeah. It's quite a nice way. It's quite, it uh, like it's quite, a con- it's quite continental. I guess that's the area effect. Mm. But you wouldn't yeah. suspect that was a Scottish team necessarily, would you? It looks like a Benfica badge as well. You know the crest. It looks a bit yeah, like yeah. Benfica to me. It was, it was very, very um, Benfica esque. Also a little bit of Blackburn, but it's obviously a thistle in there. It looks like a rose from it. Mm. But that, yeah, that collar, that collar's odd. It's a bit too. It slipped too much for me mm. on that. That's because that. of his chest. Is, is that what it is? Next, we're staying in Scotland. And this is a, a kit, but so it's an original one. And then it was uh, remade years later, but it's both actually food sponsors, which is really good. Um, so it is Green at Martin. And this is the shirt from Ooh, 90, nice. 93 to 95. It's Buchanan's toffees. Um, toffees, you're not getting that word anymore, do you? Toffee. Mm. Can I have a toffee? <laughs> Can I have a toffee. Well, you do, but you should, anyone that offers it, you should say no and and then go home. Don't I'm talk to me. <laughs> who's, and who's made that kit as well? So that's Match, match Winner. winner. Match nice. winner. What? That's a great sponsor. So yeah, uh, Green and Martin. Uh, the Titan effect is is wonderful. It's obviously, can only, can only ever work for Scottish teams, can't it? Really, um, that's where that, that's where Walker's squares would have come in good. <laughs> Get that on there. <laughs> they they definitely had a player called Buchanan as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They could have done. Yeah. They could have done. Or, or um, someone called Everton as well. <clears throat> maybe uh, that would have worked. So that's ninety three to ninety five, and then they Love redid that. it years later in 05 to oh seven. Uh, I think this is the one that I've shown you. It was redone again, a sort of special edition. And it's obviously, this time, sponsored by Millions. God, it's worse than Chupa Chups. Uh, well, Chupa. I could say that. Um, and this is obviously done by Vandenel for Green Oak Martin. And it's just, it looks exactly the same. It's just as good for me. I think there's now a new kit that I want to get. And it's the first one that you that you've just go? shown there for these. I, I think that's really nice. Looks like a try, rest kit. You want to try and find that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I really like that. Yeah, it is, it is a really nice kit. I, I agree with you. The collar, the buttons. Would you have it that baggy on the sleeves? No, the sleeves are a little bit loose, loosey goosey there, but I do like it. I like match winner as well. I've not even seen that before. No, I've never heard of that. Obviously, researching this, I've never heard of them before, but I do really like match winner. Might make me look into more of their shirts and see what they did. Guessing mm. it would have been a lot in the uh, sort of early to mid 90s. And if they're obviously doing this kit for Greenock, but yeah, I think that's probably my favorite one we've we've had so far. Um, other than the Burger King, having the king on the inside for Hatafe that was quite cool uh, but this definitely takes it for me and that that's a nice uh, remake like I said it's a nice uh, of the cap. yeah obviously they've changed the sort of inside of the the buttons which is now yellow rather than white but yeah I so know, I don't know why I think I feel like the millions is going to be like that fuzzy sort of texture and it'd come off in the wash I don't know what I mean, based it on other yeah, than just so looking at it, it. Yeah, so it sticks out a little bit, but that's very mm. similar to the nineties, obviously, with that one because that is the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, they, they are very similar in how they've been uh, been put on there. So yeah, that is the ninety three to ninety five, and the two thousand and five, two thousand and seven, Greenock away kits. Um, so moving on, we're gonna go continental now, guys. We're gonna have a, get on a plane. We're gonna go over to Italy, ninety two to ninety three. What a kit! What a player. This is the season that Francesco Totti made his debut for Roma. And yeah, I love that. I love, I, any Roma kit does work. Obviously, the sponsor by Barilla. I wasn't aware who's, of Barilla. Who's Barilla? So Barilla is pasta. They, they, they oh. make pasta. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously got the uh, Lapito, which you, does, you don't like, James. Don't like that badge, no. 
Um, I'm I absolutely love it. Uh, it's obviously on the is it the third shirt from this year or fourth fourth kit from this season. Uh, they've brought it back, but no, I'm I'm a big fan of that. But yeah, what a great kit, Adidas. It's a very sought after shirt in in sort of the community in the collectors world. Um, Roma, what are you thinking, James? Overall, yeah, the, uh, it's a great kit. I love I love that. I don't know what you call it, the Adidas um, Trey logo. File. Yes, I love yeah. that. Not a fan of the badge. But no, and this is very, I mean, this, you can tell what era this is just by looking at the collar and stuff and obviously how young Totty is, but um, <laughs> sleeves are nice as well. It's a good kit. I'd be interested to see the shorts on that, actually, but uh, it's not a nice kit. Uh, Sean? Yeah, I think if they brought that back, I'd buy that. It's simple, isn't it? Very nice. Like yeah. what, what did you call that? <laughs> what did you call that Adidas thing? It's a tray file, it's called. Tray file. I wish they'd bring that back for, for, for Adidas kits now, definitely. Because they're even talking, obviously, the Adidas logo they have now. They're even talking about getting rid of the Adidas and it just being the sort of those three blocks. No, 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 no. I think that's what they're going to go with, sort of, either 2002, uh, 22 to 23, I think. I've seen rumours of, so look out for that. But, yeah, the tray file just, it just adds class to every, every everything it's on for me. It's just it's unbeatable. Umbrella. Uh, I like it. It's the same colour as the sort of trim on the kit so it fits in nice with the badge and the uh, Adidas logo. Yeah, and Totti's making his, his debut season. I think, it, I think it was the 28th of March, 1993. He made his debut for Roma and that's the kit from this season. Staying in Italy, we'll move on. And probably one of the most iconic um, kits uh, in this list, especially one of the most <coughs> iconic players. We'll go over to Naples and we will go and see Mr. Diego Maradona with Napoli, with a beautiful Napoli shirt with Mars on there. Uh, again, something you probably won't see now, just because of how many shirt, how many bars are under one roof, sort like of Snickers and, and everything like that. Are the um, clubs allowed to have fast food on kits now? I don't know if they. I don't know if they are. To be honest with you, well, I don't know. The beer, that... didn't they? And they're, and they're against betting companies as well. That's yeah. closing in on that. Who in Italy? Just, I think, in general. Well, certainly yeah. in the Premier League. But I just wonder if you could have Mars now, because that is a great kit. Yeah, absolutely wonderful. So this is from 88 to 89, if my research is correct. Yeah, 88 to 89. It's, yeah, just it's just great, isn't it? I mean, he just makes it look cool as well. Um, although I will say, it does look almost like a jumper, the material. I was just about to say, it looks yeah. like he's wearing a polo under a jumper. Yeah, it does. Even like the material play, like that. playing golf or something. Yeah, it does look like a golfing jumper, most definitely. I mean, playing football and that sweating, it would that would have been so heavy. It would have just added mm. so much weight to you um, running around and sweating in it. But just looks great, doesn't it? I think you sent in the chat. I think you sent an updated one, but I don't know if it was. Yeah, it was. Um, shop one with uh, Hamsik. Hamsik was yeah. wearing it. Uh, I don't know if it was just like a. Like a throwback, they might have worn it as a one off, but yeah. Cause part of me you know, because was... Maradona was like after he died, was it like in memory of him or no. something. No, no I don't Ham- think it was. had left by then. When I looked at it, I thought it was Photoshop to be honest with you, that picture, but it may it may not have been. But that is a great one for me. Uh, I've Maradona. never heard of NR either. Who at NR? Is that like a Napoli thing? I, did, I, don't, I wasn't sure if it was a sponsor. I just thought it might have been like an extra badge, to be honest, but no. I don't know. Sure. That is uh, the manufactured by. Eneri, uh, which I believe is an Italian company, um, did the Napoli kits for a little while. Um, also did sort of uh, Cagliari as well. Um, even Roma, they did for a little bit. Uh, Atalanta. Even went over to Japan. James, you'll be interested to know. Kashima yeah. Antlers. Yes. <laughs> They also did um, Paraguay, um, Uruguay. So, yeah, they've been around. Um, not seen them for a while. They've been nice. It's nice. I think a nice little logo. Um, but that's a great kit, most definitely. Um, Napoli, 88 to 89, modelled by Maradona. Uh, the last kit, then, that we're going to get into from Italy. You mentioned it earlier on, Sean. And it is wonderful Parma. So this is actually the home shirt, but Buffon is wearing it. I know we've spoke about in the past goalkeepers wearing goalkeepers. So wearing would he wear that at an away fixture then? 
He, he may have done. Because uh, I know Arsenal keepers have done it, haven't they, this season? Uh, last mm. season, wearing their away <coughs> shirt. He's actually wearing the home shirt, which he was from 98 to 99. He's wearing there, that shirt. So, yeah, Parmalat uh, is the sponsor. Is it is like a food distribution company, Arsenal, there? Yeah, dairy products. Yeah, production and distribution of foods that are essentially for everyday wellness, milk, dairy products like milk and cream and stuff like that. So, so yeah. it, Parmalat seems really cool. And you're like, oh, Parmalat, that's interesting. And if that was like the UK equivalent, it'd be like Cravendale or something. Cravendale. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be yeah, quite it, as good. Yeah. Italian, no, Italian kit supplier as well, there. Lotto. Lotto, yeah. Uh, I mean, that period, sort of 90s to early mid 2000s. I don't think many teams can touch Palmer for the kits that they had. Just very, very cool. I'm not surprised Buffon wanted to wear it in that. It's just, epitomise is cool, doesn't it? It's just, you know what I mean? Just looks very, very cool. You a fan, Sean? Yeah, yeah. The kit hasn't aged and neither has Buffon. It looks. I don't know. I think yeah. just, yeah, he has I a think bit. he looks. Still, All right, maybe a couple, still couple bugs of me that he's uh, not won a Champions League, but. <laughs> Why does it bug you? Well, I just think someone like that is won everything else, and he's just missing that. He ain't getting it now. He no, he's, he's at Palmer again because he went to PSG, and I thought maybe he'll win it there. Then he went back yeah. to Juve, and I thought maybe he'll win it there. But he's at Palmer now. And... Yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, uh, are you a fan of the kit, James? Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. I would never have guessed. I would have thought it was like a like a petrol, like a oil company or something. But yeah, dairy products, yeah. Palmer. Like, there we go. But no, it's a nice kit. Yeah, I'd, I'd have thought something like a bank or something weird. Mm. I don't know why. Okay, and then just uh, a few more. So there's a few more kits I've got to show you. Um, sort of more specific, rather than teams or anything like that. It's more specific to the brand. So there's um, a buyer called I'm sure it's Dayan or Dane or something like that, and they oh, basically yeah. yeah they basically made some kits for uh, lower league Spanish teams. And the kit. So this is broccoli. I thought it was peas, but it's actually broccoli. broccoli. Yeah, um, so the team is La Hoya Lorca. This is their kit from 2013 to 2014. And what they basically did, um, this kit supplier, was when they were supplying kits for local teams, they made kits for their local produce. So obviously broccoli must be, you know, produced uh, to local to uh, La Hoya Lorca. So the kit had uh, broccoli all over it. So there you go. Very what, what would it, what would ours be? What would Manchester be? Eccles cakes. What? <laughs> or Boddington's? Was it Boddington? Yeah, what would it be? <laughs> Maybe. Would have been Boddington's back in the day, wasn't it? I guess. Yeah. Nice Man, Pim- Man United Pim- Boddington. Pim- 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 yeah. PG Tips. Is it PG Tips? Yeah, PG Tips is man, in it as well. The second one I've got for you that Dane did that was uh, similar to this was a team called CD Gualeo. And this is their fifth. 2015-2016 shirt, uh, and it looks like bacon, but it's actually ham. I mean, the badge is quite nice, but it doesn't look great, does it? Uh, it's like what Lady Gaga wore. Lady Gaga, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the meat suit, yeah, that does kind of look like that. Um, it's taking the food sponsorship a little bit too far for me. Mm. Not, not great. And there's the back. You can't even, you can't even tell it's meat though. No. You can't tell that's ham, not, can you? Not even obvious. Uh, if you score and you pull it over your head, it's a pig. <laughs> yeah, you pull it over your head. <laughs> looks like rhubarb. It's the pig. Yeah, the, that's pig what you mean. It's the pig's head that um, got thrown on the pitch when Figo went back to the new camp. Yeah, that's what it'll be. Uh, yeah, not great. I think, like I say, it's taking the food sponsorship a little bit too far for me. Uh, but that is the 2015-2016 CD. CD uh, Guile, Gu, Guileo, Guileo. I'm hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Um, and the last one I've got for you. Uh, so this is from 2017, 2018. And this is the Loha CD shirt. Uh, you will have seen this one before. It was sponsored by a local frozen food company, Apollo. And they came out with a kit that had some prawns on it. I've not um, seen that before. I've not seen this one before. No. I've, I've definitely seen this one before. Um, yeah, just, I like the logo. The logo for the company is quite good with the sort of um, crabs, sort of pincers. Um, but yeah, is that a crab pincer or is that a fish? It's a I shark. It, oh, is it a fish? I thought could it was be, pincers. Could be both. 
could be. Yeah, I think it, I think you're right. I think it is a fish. I'm talking out my ass. Yeah, a pro. I mean, w- would you wear that on a night out, Sean? No, you'd smell, wouldn't you? You'd think you'd smell in the fish. <laughs> no, it's not a scratch and sniff. No, but when you see things, you smell things as well. Like you if you see look. dog shit, you can smell dog shit. If you can see a pro, and you can smell a pro. I think. <laughs> That's, um, I mean, I guess it works for an advertising campaign, but that's an awful it, kit, but, isn't it? Mm. It's not great, is it? It's not It's not great at all. Um, so that is the last one that I've got up for you, lads. That is the Low Hat CD Prawn shirt from 2017 to 2018. So now, there's actually a couple more shirts I need to speak to you about. So this one is actually a Chilean team. And... They had a little sponsorship oh. with McDonald's, and their shirt was actually fries. So I don't know if you can see that. So the numbers on the back of the shirt was fries. Oh no! Oh, yeah. Like absolutely terrible. So it's a team. I quite shirt. like that. But I mean, the pink shirt doesn't look great with the yellow. Yeah, and like, I'll accept the fries container, but not the numbers in fries. And then what's on the back of the shorts? Is that supposed to be like a Happy Meal box? Like, what's going on with that? Is I, think that that's related? Totally, I think that's a totally different sponsor, to be honest with you. Oh, um, so yeah. So, and even with the fries at the bottom as well, it doesn't, you know, one or the other. If you're going to do it, McDonald's, don't, don't ruin it. There's another one a bit closer. So that shirt reminds me of the Manchester United shirt from a, is it around that time? It's sort of... Um, Blue shirt. I don't know if you remember it, James. It's sort of blue shirt. It looks a lot similar to that with that pattern. Uh, but yeah, so there's the shirts with the fries making up a number six with a ketchup on the end. Uh, so yeah, team in Chile. <laughs> yeah, don't have the name. Um, not great. Not great. And then sticking with McDonald's, this is probably one of my favourite stories. So doing the research for this episode, um, I was obviously trying to find shirt sponsors that had food on and stuff like that. Like I say, we found this chili team um, with the, the McDonald's. And one of the best ones or the best examples I've seen is in the Egyptian Premier League, um, a team called Gazel Mahala. Um, basically, what they've done was they've just wore a Liverpool shirt, right? And then just put over a McDonald's logo to wear. <laughs> so they even change the kit, like the badge. They've not changed like change the badge or anything like that. They've just got a Liverpool Warriors goalkeeper shirt. And then... Um, Still see yeah. the standard charter there next standard to it. Chart, standard charter there. Uh, so I'm sure it's happened in like 2014. Um, and I, I, I'm sure they must have got in trouble for it. Um yeah, just 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 co- just covered the sponsor charter with uh, a McDonald's logo. So, yeah, what what are we thinking? It might just mind you like five aside that. <laughs> was there a reason for that? So, as the keeper yeah. like forgot his kit or something, and then they've said we'll just iron this on that. Yeah, so it's reports say the shirt uh, matchup came after the Mahala Club kit man left the keeper's shirt behind on their trip, um, on their away at away trip. So he picked up. Um, the Liverpool shirt from a local store, and obviously just put um, he pressed the McDonald's logo. I bet it wasn't cool. in a legit kit as well. I bet it was like a dodgy one. Well, off, off, on the back off, off a market, off the, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't think so, that ever happened nowadays. No. No, that is really odd. They, and they, if you go into a sports store, I'm sure they must have just like basic plain jerseys. Why have you bought a Liverpool one? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just get just you know get a I mean? Warrior one on its own. Just um, like, what's he done? Has he like cut that McDonald's out of an outfield player's shirt and pressed it on, or has he got a Happy Meal box and stuck it on? Yeah, he's not got the kit, but he's got the press like the he's got the press on. Well, I think you get that in the stadium, wouldn't you? At the club shop, I imagine he'd have. But where he's got that from, I have no idea. Absolutely and like it's, it's, it's televised, so it must be a, a decent standard as well. Like, is he in the Egyptian Premier League? So you know, God knows how. God knows how they got away with it. Just it's like know. when little um, poor kids have message written on the back of the purple shirt with pen. I've, yeah, I've seen there's, in the a, slums. there's a kid in Argentina with like Messi on a, it's like a, um, like a shopping bag, like a plastic bag. Yeah, it was black and white. Uh, sorry, light blue and white. So like the Argentina yeah. tops. 
But yeah, that is it. That is all the kits I've got for you. So shall we get into the little quiz? Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, so like I say, I've got a few shirts for you. Um, I've covered the logo that the, the team is sponsored by. And I just need you to tell me who the sponsor is. We'll see how many you get right. So this is your first one. So it's our friend Javier Hernandez. Don't know it. And this is when he was playing for Chivas. He's in Mexico. Guadalajara. Yeah. I can give you some clues. So it is predominantly a bakery company, big in Mexico and also in, in sort of America as well. Um, Pillsbury Doughboy. No, you probably wouldn't know. I don't think they sell products over here. They have sponsored quite a lot of teams over in that part of the world. It's sort of a slur on a woman. Slag. <laughs> uh, You're not far off. More bird. Sort of, Is it more a bird? Sort of, like, um... In between. It's more sort of PC than, than slag, but more sort of, it's very sort of, you um... could call someone that word, but more, it'd be nicer to say. Fraud. Huh? You, you're close with that letter, Sean. Bread. <laughs> yeah, call a woman a bread, don't you? Yeah, call, yeah. Oh, look at her, the dirty bread. Yeah, I mean, never Bats. heard it. No. <laughs> Bats. Bats. Did you give up? Yeah. yeah. It was Bimbo. It was Bimbo. Bimbo. Bimbo, yeah. Um... <laughs> You may have seen that sponsor before and shirts around that part of the world. You may not have. Yeah, that's it. Javier Hernandez and uh, Chivas sponsored by Bimbo. Uh, the next one. Oh, lovely night is this one. The reason why I didn't mention Villa. Aston Villa I know because I wanted, I wanted to do this. So, uh, yeah. I don't think uh, I know yeah, this one. Atkinson as well. Um, He's dead so, now. I, yeah. yeah. Fully aware. Yeah. Um who is the sponsor on this one, boys? It's Muller. Ah, okay, of course. Are you agreeing with that, James? Yeah, it makes sense. I really like that green on that kit. don't know absolutely. why. Absolutely, yeah. I think they redid this a couple of seasons ago with uh, Kappa. Um, yeah, absolutely <clears throat> right. Oh, he's uh, good at corners. He. He. Uh, Asics as well, which is... And uh, you could have a German player with that on the back. Yeah. Thomas Muller, Gert Muller. There's two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's he called that plays for Burnley? Carney, Carner. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Thank Thank you. Carne. Carne. <laughs> well, Carney. Uh, your last one. Oh no, there's two more. I'm lying. Uh, the next one is this. So this is. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Gilles. I know this one. Ginsters. Ginsters. Is it Plymouth Argyle? It's it Plymouth is. Argyle. You're right, and you're absolutely bang on. It is Ginsters. The uh, service station favourite uh, of most football fans. And your last one is this. So this is a team called San Francisco FC. Uh, they're from South America, not from the city of San Francisco. Okay. And I saw this and thought, why not? Why not do it? So it's sponsored by Puma. I can give you some clues because it's a bit of a random one. You won't know the team, so you would never have seen it. You might have bet there before. <laughs> That's not the clue. Uh, fast food. Uh, they are dotted everywhere around the UK. AFC. Do you know what? It's already gone and bloody done it. Hey. Looks oh, good. On yeah. the that, that works. Okay, so it works really well, doesn't it? It is that red. Um, most definitely. So, yeah, there is San Francisco FC uh, from South America, not from the American city. Uh, yeah, sponsored by KFC. So, well done. Is that three out of four? So, you did well, boys. You did well. You did well. Let's finish the show off then with some shirt impressions. Yeah, so like I say, we'll finish off with some shirt impressions. So, this is where I have asked, um, or I've sent three, sh three shirts to Sean. And then he has told me the first player that sprung to his mind. And then it's up to James to try and guess who it is um, that Sean has thought of. 
the it's got to get in, inside the mind of Sean yeah. now, which is I mean, this is a tricky one to get in like his mind. Gonna, you need to focus on the screen, Sean. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think you might third... get you might sorry, I think you might get one of them. Okay, let's see. <laughs> that that says everything, doesn't it? Really. Uh, right. So the first one that I sent to him was this, James. So it's Leicester City. Um, I'm sure I said to you, let me just double check on the, the years that I sent. Uh, 97 to 98, I've put it down. Probably, obviously, back then he would have had it a couple of seasons. So, But 97, 90, uh, 98, I, I was specifying on. It's the old Walkers logo as well, than previous one we saw before. So, Cassie, um, man, I know you're quite me, young. I'm, I'm going to quickly get the squad up. The first thing that sprang to mind was Impey, but I don't even know if he was there. Is it? Was it Impey? Andy Impey. Andy Impey. The fullback. Yeah, maybe. But the been. way Sean just said no, Andy Impey. He was, like he was 2000, I think. No, he was 2000. Oh, okay. Pretty sure. Um, Just quickly. Oh, a, a name just come up there, which Sean possibly would have selected. Sean will have, like, a memory somewhere that's like, it's because of this certain incident. So, just looking at the squad here now, there's a toss-up between three players. They are Neil Lennon, Emil Heskey, and Steve Claridge. And I'm going to go... Oh, Steve Guppy as well. I'm going to say Steve Claridge. Go on, uh, James. Yeah? Got it. You got it. Steve Claridge. That is that. That's the one you think you'll get as well. That's yeah, what I, said I was like, he was going to get that first. Yeah, <laughs> and I, and that's because of Sean's affiliation with lower leagues and the fact that Claridge played until he was like nearly fifty, I think, in the lower leagues. Did he? Or am I thinking? I might else? see if he's uh, might might try and buy him one champ manager tonight. <laughs> it took me about three days to download. Lucy took about two computers and three days to try and get it on the Mac for me. It worked. Get, get you. So us that, us keep us posted on how you get on with it. I think you should be doing it on uh, Twitch, to be honest. Why not? I'd love to see that. I've got no followers. You will do eventually, won't you? I know, yeah. On, we've got a talking yeah, kick account. Do it on talking yeah, kick. I might, yeah, I might do it on TikTok. Okay. Do it on a talking kit one, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Okay. <clears throat> Your next shirt, then, James, is this one. It's the Palmer 99 to 2000 shirt. Obviously, the shirts all have food logos, which I probably should have explained, but I'm guessing you wouldn't know that anyway. <clears throat> so who is the first player that came to Sean's mind for this one? Possibly Veron. I'm thinking, was he around then? Um, he would have been around then, yeah. I think he's the only one I can think of. That's the one I would have gone for, so I'm going to go with Veron. <laughs> Say, I, I didn't think you'd have a clue on this one. This is, it was Dino Baggio. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. No, I wouldn't have got that. First, first of all, who did you say at first? Um, Savo Milosevic. Savo Milosevic, but he didn't even play there then. It was a year later. It was a year later. So I had to tell him no, that's not him. So yeah, it was Dino Baggio, unfortunately. Um, James. So your last one is a shirt we've seen earlier in the episode. It is. Fulham, 2001, 2002, the, the glorious Pizza Hut shirt. Who was it that came to Sean's mind, James? I, re I reckon you need to get a squad up for this one. Um, well, the first name that came to mind was John Collins. That was the first thing that came to mind. 01, did we say? 01 to 02, yeah. Fulham 01 squad. Inside the mind of Sean, let's have a look. A one oh two. I'm trying to think if any any jump out to me. I would have said uh, Collins, I think. But okay, so we've got John Collins is there. Steve Malbronk, Barry Hales, Eddie Lewis, Louis Sahar, Sylvan Leguinsky, Zat Knight. I feel like you might say John Harley, or because it's you, Sean. I'm going to say Steve Finnan. That was your final answer, yeah? Yeah. Steve Finnan, you've said it was Sean Davis. Sean Davis. Sean Davis. Oh. Very, very Sean pick that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was it was quite tricky. So one out of three. It's not too bad. Uh, you didn't do too bad there. So that was shirt impressions. 
here on Good Old Talking Kit. So that is the end of episode nine of the Talking Kit podcast, which was all about food, glorious food. And we hope you've enjoyed it. If it is your first time Talking Kit, please make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. Like this video as well. Share it around and get involved. Did we miss any kits that you would have liked us, us to have seen with food sponsors or anything like that? Uh, did you guess the shirt impressions right? Let us know in the comments. And like I say, join us every other Monday for the Talking Kit podcast, as well as our brand new show, Full Kit Rankers, which is every Thursday at 8 p.m. The first one that we did uh, was about the Af- African Cup of Nations and the second episode will have dropped just after or just before this episode drops. So, um, yeah, do check out the channel for that. Uh, guys, I enjoyed it. It was good. Nice chatting about food, as always. Yeah. Pleasure Especially as always. Kit. Some yeah. kits I've never seen before as well. Yeah, did, did the old uh, research on that one. Uh, Sean, anything you want to say? Follow Talking Kit, because we love Talking Kit. Yeah, uh, you, you bob on. And uh, James? Uh, just as an extension of the show, um, perhaps if anyone can think of any more names that would be suitable on the front and back of a shirt with the sponsor, that'd be nice. Um, put that in the comments, I guess, or just at us on the socials. Um, but no, other than that, uh, just keep tuning in. Great stuff. Yeah, so we will be back very, very soon uh, with another episode of the podcast. So yeah, keep it talking, Kit, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you.